Arts, and I am a uh, contributing artist to the people in the iArt show, and I wanted to present the uh, thoughts behind what I put into all this work. Um, the art committee has asked that we share some of our thoughts on the themes of resilience and nobility in relation to the piece, and how the uh, pieces that you see here behind me relate to the theme of Pupil of the Eye, um, and also my role and responsibility in upholding uh, the nobility of black people from the perspective of my own background and experiences. So I'm going to try to answer those questions. Um, first, my thoughts on the resilience and nobility. When I looked at the work uh, that I wanted to do for this, and after understanding the quote that came with this, um, that is, thou art like unto the pupil of the eye, which is dark in color, yet it is the font of light and the revealer of the contingent world. I really um, was thinking of the black community within my reach, my understanding and my experiences in life has presented an amazing ability to me. Um, I've got to know so many people that I wanted to connect with on a very personal level. And being a Green Acre, um, the nobility I looked at was the picture that I saw every time I entered into the Sarah Farmer Inn. And that was Lewis Gregory. Um, when I looked upon his face that, there on the wall, I realized how noble of a looking man he was. Uh, and I wanted to recreate that. So what you see behind me is a is a um, connecting to the pupil of the eye with the circle and round uh, uh, landscape that I created here. Is an interior picture, and you've got to look close, close to this. And I hope Green Acre will share that when they uh, present this in their video. Uh, presentation. Um, it is a picture of, it is a portrait of uh, Louis Gregory. And behind him in this portrait, in the dark pupil here, is uh, images of others that are behind him and on his shoulders. Uh, those represent to me the people that he's taught the faith to. And the landscape around it, which I call the my circular landscape, is uh, trees of others that he's taught to. Uh, that he brought the faith to, that he wanted them to connect to. And uh, I looked at his life as part of my work in creating this painting and wanted to understand where he was coming from. And there's such a beautiful uh, written work out there to look at uh, on him that I, I, I got to know him. I, I, he became a very close friend. In fact, if you look at his portrait that's in the Sarah Farmer in his... Um, left eyebrow is higher than his right eyebrow. Just some, a little tidbit of information that I did when I was studying here is his look to create this painting. Um, that's just the one piece. I really thought of nobility when I looked at him. So I really wanted to create that as part of this, this exhibit. So this is the painting that you're looking at here. Um, I also had a second piece that I entered in and that is the, um, the sculpture that you see here. And if you look closely at it, it's it's all about the balance. Um, I wanted to, I, I called this, uh, actually the, the name of the uh, painting here is Through the Lens of Louis Gregory. And the sculpture that I have here is the balance of racial harmony. Um, but what inspired me for that was the second quote that the committee had sent out on that. And it's, it says, the accomplishment of the unity between the colored and white will be assured of the world's peace. And then that's what I tried to do when I was presenting this piece here and just give the balance of it. It's, it's um, some wire sculpture with uh, fiberglass and wood combined together. And I just wanted to try to show that harmony and that balance that needs to occur to help create and bring about the world peace. Um, as a contributing, contributing artist to this and my experiences in life, um, I know that the harmony of the races need to occur for peace to occur. I, I'm a firm believer in that. I also know that from my life's experience, um, I have some children that are interracial and I know that the connection with them um, goes beyond that. In fact, I never even thought about it until working with this show. They're my children. I, I, I never thought of that interracial connection. It was just, they're my children. I love them for, the, for who they are and and what they contribute to the world. Um, my oldest son is a firefighter for the city of Rochester right now. And in this, he's in harm's way every day, but he goes to work every day. 
and he makes a connection to the community. And I, I'm just, there's so much more I can say about that, but the, the goal for today was to talk about this artwork. And my connection and my experience has helped me to put these two pieces of art together. And I hope that they will give a connection to others that see them, whether virtually or come into the show if we're able to have people come by and look at it hanging on the walls. I want to thank you for the time to present this. I hope I've um, inspired some of you to even go look at Louis Gregory and look at his life. Because what a noble man. What an absolute noble man. And I am absolutely thrilled to be a part of that.